everyone welcome to my channel i'm really happy to do another video for you guys uh thank you so much for being here to take your time to watch this video so in today videos i'm going to teach you guys how to do this dress you can wear this dress as a prom dress or i don't want to go to some wedding uh it's really up to you or just you know what just to go to i don't know a restaurant you know in a date who knows uh, the imagination it's not in it doesn't have a limit at all so uh, let's get started. Just to let you guys know the textile I used to make this dress is really, really cheap. So you can choose another type of textile. So we we'll actually make the dress looks better. But I'm really happy with the results. I really, really like this dress. So I'm happy to share with you guys. Let's get started then. To make this dress, I use 3 meters of fabric, I fold the fabric on 2 and then I also use elastic. Uh, I just measure the elastic, on my, the elastic on my body and organize the dress, fold the dress and then put the elastic on the side of the dress just to make sure and then put in the mannequin to see uh, how it's gonna look, how the dress is gonna look. To make the long skirt of the dress, fold the textile on 2 and you just have to measure from your waist to the floor and put another 5 centimeters. and after that with, with your textile fold into cut the bottle because this bottle we're gonna use to make the mini dress then take the long skirt also take the elastic and then you put the elastic inside of the long skirt and you can put in the mannequin to have a look how it's gonna look like if you don't have mannequin that's no problem at all you can put on your own body and just to make sure like the length it's enough and you feel comfortable with that and then have to look like this like I'm showing you guys in the video to do the t-shirt part of the dress I'm using a pattern I already make here in the channel it's a really simple one took me like five minutes to make it and it's really simple I'm gonna leave the link below and you guys can check it out and learn how to do it's just you need a paper and a scissor and a pen that's all you need and I'm gonna use this pattern to do, to do the top of the dress just take the pattern input on top of the textile and with a pen just mark around and then the textile the pattern is ready on the textile and just fold the textile on two so then you have the front of the pattern and also do the same thing in the back this pattern i have uh she got the front and the back together so it's really easy to use check it out i'm gonna leave the link below and you guys can check it out the pattern now we have the front and also the back of the dress already drying out on the textile we just have to cut and then we will have the pattern ready to input in the mannequin but like i said if you don't have mannequin you can check it out on your body just input in your body make sure it fits but the pattern it's make with the measurements of your body so it'll definitely fit really well now we have the front and also the back of the dress ready the t-shirt the top of the dress is ready we're going to put in the body if you don't have mannequin i'm doing the mannequin but if you don't have mannequin just input in your body and make sure it fits well and then it's already the top of the dress is ready now we just leave this part because we're gonna sell selling all together on the end now now let's move on to the simple skirt uh you just need a ruler and a pen so take the ruler and do kind of like a triangle and also do the measurement how how the length you want on your small skirt from your waist to how big do you want my one is uh kind of like five five centimeters up to my knee so it's five centimeters up from my knee uh, and after that you just do the triangle i did eight of them and we're gonna cut all the textiles so all the H triangles kind of like a triangle we're gonna cut all the H ones then one more time take all the triangles you did and put around your waist to make sure it will fit like the size is right because we're gonna sell all this and it's really nice to figure out the size and see if everything is right before we do the selling because after that if you don't do this procedure after this well after you sell everything you have to do the adjust so it's not really nice just let's do now and get it done now let's go to my favorite part take all the parts of your small skirt and input the parts together and sell 
all sound so know them together. After you have all the bottom of the dress ready, like the small skirt, what we're gonna do now is take the top, the t-shirt, and then we're gonna put them together. Uh, don't forget to input the zipper as well on the bottom. It's really simple, just the bottom of the t-shirt is already open and also the skirt. So you just put them together and then sew the zipper on. And after you do that, just sew all together. It's, it's taken a little bit of time, but after you finish that, the dress has to look like this. If your dress looks like this, you are in the right directions. We're gonna get there and we're gonna finish this dress. We almost there. <laughs> So after the first part of the dress is ready, in my case, because my textile is not that great, the best one, I just cut some little pieces of the flower and I use a glue for textile, so it's a textile glue, and I make this kind of draw in my dress to look a little bit different, otherwise will be, the color will be so pale, so I just use this to leave some color on the first part, or the first piece of the dress. I just make all the front of the dress so it's gonna look like this. If you want it, you can do something similar, but it really depends the textile you're gonna use because if you use a textile it's already really colorful, uh, it's already really nice drawing the textile, you don't have to do that. But if you go for like me the cheaper textile, it's nice to put something to make it look like it's expensive. Now let's move on to the big skirt. We already put on the mannequin so we know the size. Now I'm just gonna cut my one a little bit because mine is too big. If you use the same case, you can cut a little bit. And after that, the only thing we have to do is sewing everything to look really nice. And this part will be already done. But also we have to sew the part we're gonna put the elastic on. And then we have everything ready. So just cut if you need to make sure it fits you well if you need some cut do it and then do the sewing everywhere it needs and then it's done then you just have to take the elastic you already measure on yourself and put inside of the big skirt and it's ready then you sew sewing the elastic and then it's all done after you finish have to look like this so here we have the bottom it's the big skirt and we have the dress, the mini dress. And you can use just the dress if you like. And also you can put the big skirt on it. It just looks so cool. And this is the result. You can see like how floating gets. And it's really amazing. Like I said in the start of the video, you can wear this to do anything you feel like. It's awesome dress. Really easy to do the construction of the dress. I have so many videos on the channel. Thing. I have a video to tell you how to do a simple skirt. A simple t-shirt you can use all this to make a different types of dress i have a simple dress as well and please let me know if you guys like this video just comment below and if you like it please subscribe to the channel and see you guys next video